Lesson 6. Performing Aggregations. Performing Summation. This query presents all measures for each of the best-selling cars categories. Each of these three measures derives from a single fact table but some of these measures are calculated in different ways. Summation involves the simple addition of values and provides insight into the overall magnitude of a given measure. Within the cube summation is supported through the assignment of the sum aggregate function to a measure. The first argument of the sum function is a set of tuples. The function works by resolving each tuple to a value using the supplied expression or the current measure and then adding these values. The sum function is highly simplistic in that measure values are added together without regard for how those values are derived. For measure values based on the sum or count aggregate functions this is no big deal. For other measure values, such as those employing distinct count, max, or minutes aggregate functions, summing the values across a set frequently produces inappropriate results. In these situations, what is typically required is for measures to be aggregated based on whichever aggregate function is assigned to them within the cube. This is handled by the aggregate function.
just like the sum function. The aggregate function aggregates values across a specified set. Instead of employing simple summation, this function works to evaluate measures in a manner consistent with their assigned aggregate functions. In this way the aggregation of a set of values based on the sum or count aggregate function returns a sum, a set of values based on the max aggregate function returns a max, and so on. Calculating averages With an arithmetic average the values in a set are summed and then divided by the number of values in the set. In MDX this average is calculated through the AVG function. The existing keyword forces the set of months to be considered in the current context which includes a specified calendar year. The price measure is determined for each of those months and then averaged to produce the values returned.
identifying minimum and maximum values. Placing the category sales maximum next to individual car category sales helps understand each subcategory relative to this max value. However it can be more useful to express the individual category sales as a percent of this value. Counting tuples. The count function returns the number of members in a set.
The MDX provides support for an alternative count function called distinct count which returns the count of distinct non-empty duples in a set. The function evaluates tuples, removes those associated with empty cells, removes duplicates, and then performs a count. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Learn with video tutorials com.